So guys, I am back with another Elden Ring video. Now if you guys are struggling with the Golden Hippo, the Golden Hippopotamus boss within this DLC, then this video is for you. Today guys, I bring you a complete guide, a simple build anyone can use and put together, which will allow you to take this boss out with ease. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leave a like, it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the Golden Hippo. This is a boss I know is annoying many, many players. You need to defeat him to progress uh, into where I'm actually at. Where am I at now? I've, I've been fighting this dude for so long, I forgot where I'm at. Okay, so within the Shadow Keep, the first boss you come to, the main gate Palazzo, you have to defeat him to progress past him. So yeah, I can understand why people are annoyed with it. Now, if you're here and you've defeated this boss, this video ain't for you. This is for people that are struggling. Just keep that in mind. Yes, you may beat him quickly. You may beat him with ease with your normal build. But not everybody's the same. Some players struggle on bosses like this. But they're just big. They're, over the, they're just over the top. And the mechanics to the actual moveset they have is just wild. Plus, it gets to a point where it just gets annoying. And this was definitely one of those bosses for me. I mean, my first 10 deaths, I couldn't even get through the door without him picking me up in his mouth and slamming me into the concrete. When I eventually learned to get out of the way of that and how to do that and time it right, I absolutely slayed this boss. That's basically the hardest part about this, is getting out of the way from him running at you. If you can do that, using this build, you'll absolutely melt this boss. Now, this is a build on the other side of the scale from my usual katana setup. Um, I'm not a sorcerer. I've never really been a sorcerer. In fact, this is the only staff I believe I have at a level 10 because I made it for a video about two years ago and i just use this so the build and how it works and i'll show you the boss fight and how i worked him in a quick second so first things first you want to get yourself a staff and make sure it's leveled up it doesn't matter what it is like i said this is the only one i've got so yeah fine then you want to get yourself a seal this isn't necessary for you uh but hey get yourself any seal it doesn't matter then guys armor put on what you like it doesn't really matter as well i got this helmet here which just increases intelligence which helps the game with that magic simple as that Artifacts, 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 talismans I'm using, the magic uh, scorpion charm, the ritual sword talisman, the rut and wing sword insignia, and we have the radicant icon. To be honest, these two here, I left them by mistake because I just switched these up. That one and that one I put on, I weren't really bothered. You can change these to whatever you want, guys. Like, I mean, I'm not even sure these even work in regards to, well, this one especially. Does this even work with spells? I don't even know. I don't care. I got this boss out of the way. That's all that matters. Now, these are simple talismans you get from real early game at the base game. Well, not real early game, but you get them from the base game. I mean, there's millions of guides out there on each one of these. So, yeah, if you're missing anything, just search YouTube. In fact, I'll try and find links and I'll put them in the video description for any of these if you want to get them. Then, guys, in my flask, we have the Magic Shroud in correct tier, which just temporarily boosts my magic, and the Green Burst Crystal tier, which I put in because it boosts stamina and recovery speed. Simple as that. Then, guys, which is most important is the Mimic Summon. This thing is beautiful. It's by far, in my opinion, the best summon in the game. You definitely want this in your loadout. But if you haven't got that, guys, you can always use this one here, the Black Knife Tish. This one as well. Is incredible these are my go-to but to me the mimic tier works best here and like i said we're only using that seal because of that mimic tier because obviously it copies your loadout now in regards to spells we're just going to spam out one simple spell and it is this one right here the shard spiral this thing consumes not much fp at all you can spam it out it hits multiple times and it's so easy to use against bigger bosses like this because their hitboxes are just absolutely massive. So you just spam it out. And, and because you're using the Mimic Summer 2, yeah, he's using it at the same time. So you're just doing so much damage to this dude. And now, like I said, the reason I'm using that seal is because of the Lord's Heal Incantation. Massively heals HP for self and nearby allies. Now, you will notice sometimes... That your mimic will actually use this to heal himself which is great not only does he use your potions uh like these not only does he use your flasks he'll also use the co2 to heal himself which is pretty cool and that's basically what i set up guys that's my setup that's how i just defeated this boss now the way i did it was obviously you want to dodge out the way of his first attack 
Nine times out of ten, he runs at you trying to pick you up in his mouth, and you're seeing this on screen now. Sometimes he just lunges at you, which is a lot easier to get out of the way of. But what I did was, I obviously used my uh, my flask outside of the door, my wondrous physic outside of the door, come into the boss fight, and as soon as I got in, I just summoned my mimic, and then tried to get out of the way of the boss. As soon as this happens, guys, just keep dodging away, or keep running away until the, the boss focuses on your summon. Once he's focused on your summon, you want to try and run up behind him, obviously locked onto his one hitbox, which is his face, and just spam out that spell. It hits multiple times, it does so much damage, and with you and your Mimic Summer doing it as well, it's just going to destroy this boss. And this is a loadout, like I said, I've used on many big bosses, with those big hitboxes, and it just gets to work. And it really is, guys, as simple as that. Like I said, it's just a generic build, one I resort to when there's bosses like this that are just annoying, and I want to get them out of the way. Uh, this is exactly what this Golden Hippo was to me. So yeah, a simple way to beat the Golden Hippo for those that are struggling out there. And yes, I know there will be people in the comment section saying, how are people struggling with this boss? Uh, you want to try and fight Bale or Mesmo or peak bosses like that. To be honest, Mesmo as well, oh, not Mesmo, sorry, Bale wasn't too bad. Uh, it wasn't annoying. The Golden Hippo was just annoying. Bale was amazing. That's a, probably one of the best boss fights I fought in the game. But yeah, that's a different story for a different video. But there we have it guys, a simple build in beating not only this boss, but many bigger bosses with those massive hitboxes. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be, uh, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.